The long-awaited video held up by the Lua's glitches and errors has finally made it, and gosh, is this going to be a very long video. Anyways, that's only so I can actually explain each bit step-by-step -step to all of you guys. Hey my little angels, and welcome back to another tutorial video. This Lua event did come out yesterday, well, it might be day before by the time this thing uploads actually. December 9th, 2021 is when this actually came out, and it, it will... It's supposed to stay here for a month as per the creator, which is Santa, who had like a few others who also helped. They said that it will last for one month at least. Also, the number next to the light and dark furs is actually counting the number of cheese that the mice have collected while wearing each of those furs. It is not the number of mice who bought the fur. A lot of people are making that mistake, but a couple of mods have actually confirmed this. It's so just letting you guys know. This event did take a while to figure out. The Enigma had us all confused, as well as the Chris Rhea error preventing us from moving on, which is why this whole video is delayed. But it has all been fixed, so I can tell you about how to do each part of this event in its entirety with some tips and tricks to help you do it faster too. Alright, so as you all know, for these Lua events, always make a new room to farm them. Since they do come in between 13 to 15 minutes, usually it's around 15 minutes. If you stay in a room after that, the Lua event will next show up like an hour or so later, 40 to 60 minutes at least, maybe longer. To get the Lua event to come, you do need four mice in the room. Only four mice is necessary. That's when the timer will start. Also, after the massive farm rooms, which we had reached up to 150 mice limit and people could not get in the room, it started to glitch and everything, so Santa actually did go ahead and reduce that number to a 60 limit for mice. Like, the, more people can actually enter the room, but Lua event will not come in a room if the mice are over 60. Obviously, by the time this video comes out, that should not be the case anyways, but just telling you as a tip and letting you guys know, a lot of people probably don't know this, but I don't think the limits have really been hit often, but don't let it go to 60 or over, then the event will not show up for sure. So just letting you know that. Anyways, internal glitches were fixed without needing to restart the whole TFM server, else it would have been a lot of reboots on the first day. So thank goodness that Santa was actively checking and responding, else it would have been a big mess. So thank you so much for having a new event for us to enjoy and being like proactive in fixing all the glitches and everything. But anyways, they even helped us with some tips to figure out the Enigma. For the Enigma, be sure to pay attention to the tiny numbers in white on your screen as you play and note them down because everyone has a different one to use later on. That's what Santa said anyhow, but we shall find out in the future and see how helpful that is. Anyhow, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so the first time you get this map, you will be at the top of the sleigh and it looks dark and empty below you. I thought that was glitching. I was like, there is no, there's not a lot of graphics or visuals. So I'm like, is this right? But yeah, it is. You have to fall down aside and use your arrow keys to do your best to avoid all obstacles. The stars will act kind of like lava, and there are blue teleportation devices that move you halfway across the screen very quickly. You can barely notice or register most of this because it goes by very, very fast. And if you lag a lot, then good luck. I would suggest turning off your clothing item, like the outfits and minimal minimalistic mode won't help, but like... Confetti, what do you call that thing that shows confetti and all that? I turned all that stuff off anyhow, because recording plus that massive lag. But anyways, it goes very, very fast, as you can see, so it does involve some luck. You need to avoid hitting the green things, which are actually Grinches, I found out later on. It was going by too fast for me to actually register what they were. I thought they were like Christmas trees or something, but they're actually Grinches. And the skulls as well, so avoid these two things for sure. As you can see by the hearts, you get three tries to reach the bottom, which is the rooftop. And so I would suggest moving as less as you can, or just try falling really close to a line of stars, but do not touch them. Because two stars won't really be placed too close together, so you'll be able to fall for a longer time. Like That's what helped me get it on my second try when I did it on my alt account. And if you do hit a star, immediately spam like the up arrow key, which will make you jump so you stop moving sideways or up 
and start falling down towards the roof again. Ah, it's, a, it's a pain, but it's also based on luck. <laughs> Throughout this map, if you talk when you aren't supposed to, you will get warned in the chat because you are playing as Santa technically and you must be quiet so you do not wake any of the mice up. You will get sent to jail if you speak more than three times. I'll show it later on in the video. But there are points where you can talk, like right now, since you're outside of that whole house. Right now you'll be able to, but there are some points where it does, it does that to you, even outside the house. Anyways, once you finally reach the roof, congrats, you finished one of, like, one of the luck-related obstacles. But anyways, it is okay if you do not land in the chimney directly because you can you can just like jump up the side, so just wall jump a bit and then go inside. And it actually gets you stuck there inside kind of like if you're in a, if you're stuck in a spider web trap and you can't really move anywhere, but in your chat box in the general chat, it will say that it like in the chat, you will see that it has acknowledged that you have made it to the house. So now you just wait it out till the next event map comes around to continue on with your journey. All right, in the next event map, now that you have finally made it to the house, now you can honestly jump over and go and do the orb or get the title or anything else as well. But right now we're talking about the badge, of course. So you will have to first show up inside the house at the top where the presents are. Usually that's where it happens. But be aware, the lights and fireplace will act as a lava, which they can help you go faster, but they most likely can also tend to lag you or send you flying in all directions. You did not want to go and waste your time. Throughout this game, you use a space bar to collect and drop items. Anything, if I ever mentioned like clicking or picking up or doing anything, use your space bar for it every time. Anyways, we will first talk about how to get the Christmas sled badge. So this is where it all begins. So up till now, it was just the intro of this whole thing, but let's get right on into it. <laughs> to get this badge, there are three stages you must complete. In the first stage, you must press the space bar on the present to go to certain locations based on the clues given to you in the chat box and place them by pressing space, then going back up to collect the next gift and doing the same thing seven times in total. You must be quick for this, but do not worry, the order will never change, so you can follow the same order that I will tell you below. Stage 1 does not save your progress, so if you do not complete all 7 before the time is up, you will have to restart from the first gift again. My biggest pro tip for you is to actually avoid the lava at all costs, unless you are super pro and can nail a perfect landing every time, unlike me who sometimes lags or flies in the wrong direction or gets bumped and falls down after that. <laughs> it might seem slow to use the hay beds, but it is actually faster and you do it, and if you do it the way I tell you, you will easily have 40 seconds or more left at the end of the round. Before I tell you more about it, let me tell you the order and then the method to make it in time easily. Like, trust me, you, you'll do it if you do it the way that I'm telling you. When you first start stage one, the gifting stage, you are luckier if you start at the top. Well, most of the time you will start at the top. I don't know if by this time they've actually fixed it and have everyone start at the top. But anyways, you will have to bounce your way up there if you do not start at the top. So basically how to be at the place where there is a pile of presents, which you most likely already are. You press the space bar when you are on that gift pile at the middle of the house and it will pick up the gift and you will know because it will give you a clue to the mouse you have to actually give it to in your chat box. Here for your first clue when you press it, it will say, a digital tablet. This should definitely fit on her artboard. So you go over here to the right on the artboard and press the space bar to drop it. So you drop it off when you are standing on this artboard and then it will tell you in chat that you have quietly placed a gift. All the places you have to drop off the gifts will be near the mice they are talking about and not on the mice because you do not want to be waking them up. You're Santa, right? <laughs> and avoid those candle lights for this first one because they have lava in it if you touch it. Just bounce on that hay to get back up to the gift pile, then space bar to collect the next gift, which says that you have collected a gift. For the second clue, it says, oh my, 
some new shoes for our king of parkour. Go down to the chef hat mouse and if you can from that platform of the art mouse, jump directly to the hay below if you can. So you can bounce from that directly, but if not, that's okay. Because you need to bounce on that hay to reach the skull icon there faster. And spam the spacebar when you reach that skull icon, which is between the defilante symbols of the blue speed or zoom and the plus one symbol. Once you see that the gift has been placed next to the sleeping bed, or in the chat it tells you that too as well, you know, that the gift has been delivered, avoid the fireplace as it is lava. Well, this one is a little bit easier to go back up if you wish, but you easily boink your head against the top and it makes you fall back down, so that wastes more time in my opinion. But if you don't want to, yeah, wait, like, if you don't want to risk wasting your time if you hit the lava wrong, then just jump down to the hay that is at the bottom to bounce up and keep bouncing on it till you get up to the gift pile. But I would suggest using, like, stay zoomed out because it makes it easier to see the hay at the bottom so that you don't miss it, else it it messes up some time for you. It seems like it takes long, but it can be easier than trying to wall jump and then use a the fire, so be patient. This stage is doable without using fire at all. Trust me on this. I even recorded me doing it on an alt with goofing, goofing it up a few times as well, and still using the trusty middle bottom hay bed to get me up to the gifts. It feels slow, but it works. After you get the gifts, press the spacebar again at that top area to pick up the gift and then it tells you, a violin for one who loves classical music. Now you have to drop all the way down to the right to where the piano is and press the spacebar, then go and bounce on that trusted middle hay till you make it to the top. Or if you feel you are messing up, stop on the side of one of the higher platforms to stabilize yourself, then drop back down. Of course, keeping a zoomed out screen so you can see exactly where that bottom middle hay bed is, then bounce up even higher and get to the gift pile. Press the spacebar and then you will be told, wait, this is quite an interesting vinyl disc. Now you have an easier fourth gift to place because you only need to go a little bit over to your right and drop it off on the music box, which is actually called a gramophone by the ways, but we'll call it a music box because everyone's calling it that. Then you jump back over to the gifts, then you press your space bar, and then in the chat box it's going to tell you, a bag of chestnuts. Ooh, it looks so delicious. You go straight over to your left, climb that little platform, and press the space bar on that chestnut to deliver the gift. Come back over to the gift pile, press space bar, and then it says, Aw, this is such a cute set of moon and star plushies. So for this one, you have to go down to your left and see if you can aim directly for that hay pile because it is easily doable in that first jump down so you don't have to waste time jumping to reach the moon. And do spam space when you're on the moon to make sure that the gift is delivered. Do not worry if you miss the hay on your first jump because you have some time, it's okay, do not panic because panicking will make it worse and you mess up even more and take longer. After that, you can hop on the fireplace to go up but be sure to touch the top and not the side else you will waste time but if you're not feeling confident in that, feel free to use the trusty middle hay bed at the bottom to jump up to the top for your last gift of the stage. Now finally, tap that space bar and pick up that last gift and head down to that big Christmas tree at the bottom because you are told, and at last, a gift for everyone else under the giant Christmas tree. So you go over to that tree and you press the space bar and have a little dance party while you're at it because you're gonna have to wait for the next map most likely because you do not really have time to do stage two yet. And we're finally done with stage one, which is the hardest stage of all because of the time crunch. If you have a laggy laptop or computer or desktop or whatever, just good luck to you. But honestly, use the hay beds then because lava is gonna make you lag even more. It's gonna be harder for you. This is definitely gonna be easier for you to do. So use this method of using the hay beds when I told you to use those, and you'll be golden. Trust me on that one. All right, now we move on to stage two. So next time the event map comes around, because the tree's on fire somehow, we need to go and get the extinguisher and set this fire. So go to the right, hop on that hay, and press the space bar when you're on top of that fire extinguisher. Then you have to go all the way down to that big tree and press the space bar to put out the fire. The red one next to the door is gasoline. Do not accidentally use it because many people did that before. The green arrows will give you all the options you can pick from. 
but don't pick anything else up on accident, else you'll have to wait another round, I think. I never bothered trying that out because I didn't want to waste time, obviously. <laughs> Next, after the tree looks all black and burnt, go down to the basement. By the way, you can do this in the same round, just letting you know. Go down to the basement where there is a box and there's a red arrow pointing to it. Press the spacebar when you are on the box and a counter will start. There are two counters. One is on your screen lower right, showing how many you have picked up, and the other one over the box, which will actually be saving your progress. This is the stage from which your progress will be saved, but only if you come back to this box. So be sure to press the spacebar on that box after you collect the items so that it saves your progress and you will not have to restart that part at the next event map. Because the tree has all burnt down, you'll need to fix the tree up first. So for the first item, you have to go and collect mini Christmas trees. I'm assuming because they're like big and chunky. <laughs> That's why it only allows you to collect one tree at a time. When you find a tree, you press the space bar to pick it up, then come back to the box and press space bar again to drop it off. You will see the counters keeping track and you must collect 10 trees to move on to the next task. After you have completed the tr trees, you will have to do the same thing with light bulbs. The, and you can do this like right after you're done with it on whatever event map you are. You don't have to wait for the next event map for this one. The only difference is that you can collect as many light bulbs as you can. So you don't have to keep on going back and forth between the box and the light bulb every time. Collect as many as you can before time runs out and make it back to the box so that you can save that progress that you collected. So each map allows you to have a maximum of 12 items. So don't forget to drop the collected items before the time runs out, else you will have to collect all those light bulbs in this case that you found all over again. The progress is saved every time something is dropped into that box for this current situation. The good thing is that the location is the same for all the items throughout this event so far. And so every time you already know where the items are, you can get all 12 in one turn, especially easily if you have the starting point at the top where the gift pile is located. Anyways, you need a total of 12 light bulbs for this round conveniently to move on to the next round. Whenever you finish it, if you have time left over, you can start with the candy canes right away as well. Because once you're done with light bulbs, you'll be moving on to the candy canes. You only need 12 candy canes to complete this level in the same manner that you did for the light bulbs. Since I first did the event, Santa has made some more refinements to make it easier. I play this on my alt as well, and now that I'm seeing for this time, when you're done, it actually tells you to wait for the next map to continue instead of leaving you confused with no clue what to do next, which is what happened originally on the first day. But once you're done collecting all the candies, candy canes, you do have to wait for the next event map to come. Now, at the next event map, you will face your final task. You are done with two out of three for this badge, finally. Stage three, it seemed kind of hard, but I'm going to tell you some, like, I did not know this at first, so I was messing up a lot. No one knew anything about it when I was doing a recording this, so we had to figure it out on our own. But I got you. Now you're going to know what to do. The mission here is to go back up to your sleigh as you have finished delivering all the gifts and holiday decor. When you are in this sky zone, you can talk because you're away and outside of the house, so you will not disturb the mice. But I'll show you in a bit anyways. Um, anyhow, go down to the door next to the tree. Press the space bar and you will be directly transported up to the roof. You go to the box of fireworks, which is on your right side. So do this and press the space bar because it will launch you up. The stars seem to be in the same layout, roughly as far as I've seen, like the few times I had to do it over again. So my pro tip to you is to stay near the left corner of this fireworks box as it lies somewhere between the between like two sets of stars as you go up, so the stars won't really stop you much. So that's a good thing at first. So you must be careful not to fly way too high past the sleigh. You'll be able to see the sleigh when it comes up. Else, if you get yeeted up into the sky, it's going to transport you back to the roof to try again till you land up on the ground where the sleigh is. The stars act like less powerful lava, but you need to land on the top pointy ends of the stars. If you feel you're going way too fast and might get yeeted to outer space, or you bump into a star the wrong way and you start falling down instead, or to the side, you should jump quickly 
So use the up arrow key or the W arrow key to stop that. And there is a bonus here. As you can see, I did not know this before, so I kept falling down and it made it much harder. But to make this easier, you can now use a space bar to fly upwards also. But do not rely on this. Only use it to stop yourself from falling or to reach a close by star to jump off of because you will not have enough time to make it otherwise. You need to jump off from stars. If you don't do that, you or you probably won't make it in time. <laughs> when you see the sleigh like coming in sight or you're like, okay, I'm pretty far up. I think the sleigh is going to be near. Slow down or stop and then fly up to it if it's really close by. Else use stars, but don't yeet yourself up. Because if you accidentally do that, which I've done like a couple times, <laughs> if you go too far, you'll be like, I just missed it and it was right there. <laughs> Once you reach the sleigh ground, do not start dancing and celebrating because you are not done yet and the progress will not be saved. You'd have to do this whole thing from entering the door, going up the stars to the sleigh. You'd have to do it all over again. So be sure to quickly press the space bar when you are in the sleigh to get the badge. Congratulations, you are done with one out of three <laughs> prizes. Now you may goof around up there, party, do whatever, or if you miss the house too, you can actually start shouting, aka talking, say any three different things to get sent to prison. I'm not sure about the logic for why you'd be able to get sent to prison when you're in your sleigh, all the way in outer space kind of thing, but it works as of today. Do be aware that there may be some minor tweaks that Santa can do and fix some stuff up, but for now it works. So you're gonna be able to get stuck in prison or jail for 15 seconds and then it releases you into that house. Keep in mind that the last save of this event was up at the sleigh when you press the spacebar to get the badge. So next event round, you will have to start at that sleigh again, but now you have an easier way to get back to the house to complete some holiday cheer. You go right to that plus one sign and it's gonna teleport you right back through the door of the house and then your progress is saved so that next time you enter, you're gonna enter through that house. <laughs> and that is pretty much it for getting the badge and to get you on track to getting the orb. All right, now since that is out of the way, we can start the tutorial on how to get this orb, which is also in, what do you know? Three stages as well, surprise, surprise. By the ways, after you get the badge, I would suggest you have this list of artists ready so you can be faster and it will fly by in a breeze. I already copy and pasted the artist name in the in a random chat box right before the event. You can either copy and paste the artist name or use the up arrow key in your chat box to get the name. I will be showing you how I did it both ways. You actually only need the artist's name. You do not need to waste time with their whole name. The TFM wiki says the whole name, but you don't need to do that, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, first go all the way up to the gramophone, which is also known as the music box which is in the top right area, and then you press the space bar. It should give you the lyrics to a song. You are supposed to search up the lyrics, find the song, and then find the original person who made that song, aka the original artist of the song, write that artist's name, and then press enter in your chat box. Then you press space bar again to get the next lyrics for you to type in the artist of that song. You are supposed to do this whole process 10 times to complete stage one of this music orb part. If at any point you mess up, the lyrics will start all over from the first one and you have to retype all the artists and go through that whole process again. At least the order will always stay the same and the progress is saved once you complete stage one. So you must type out all 10 artists to finish it, else you'll have to redo this music part, the next event map. Do not worry though, I got you covered. I wrote all the artists in order down in the description box below, so feel free to copy and paste them into a Transformice Whisper or chat box so you can use it when you reach stage one of the music section. As you can see, by the end of this, I did not even have to wait to see the lyrics or read it and just quickly press the spacebar. Then in the chat box, I copy and pasted the artist, then the spacebar again, then copy and pasted the next artist, and so on and so forth. The spacebar just is so that you get the next set of lyrics so you can move on. It is really fast and you could take your time here since I've given you all the artists' names. Here are the song names with the artists' full names, but you only need their last name. Like you can type Wham with the exclamation mark, Bieber, Feliciano, Reeser, Lee, Kit, 
Rhea, Helms, Clarkson, and McCartney, and you will you'll pass this round. You don't need the whole name. This video took even longer to make because there was an error at the stage with the seventh artist. We all knew the answer and what it had to be, but it just it would not work, so we all kept trying different names and variations of Chris's name with full names, nicknames, last name, and other people who sang this one as a cover even, and whatnot. And when at the end it actually turned out that there was a spelling error in it, which was finally fixed many many hours later, it had been spelled out as R-H-E-A instead of R-E-A. But it is fixed now, which is why I'm able to teach you how to do the rest of this event. If you're watching my video, that means you are guaranteed to have a bunch of leftover time in this round because you were able to directly copy and paste these names without needing to read all those lyrics. You have to wait for the next map to continue though. Another glitch while I was playing was that nothing else was loading after the stage once they fixed the spelling error, so I had to wait for them to fix this part as well. Anyways, stage 2 involves the vinyl discs from around the house in the same locations as all those other items before, so you have probably memorized your favorite path to be efficient here. Collect 24 of these discs, which will take two event maps to do, and then move on to the next half of stage 2. The progress will be saved every time you bring the discs back to the music box, the same way as it did for the ornaments and the candy. I had to wait for the next map to get to do the next part, but I'm not sure, maybe you can do it right away now? So anyways, you can maybe you'll be able to do it right after you finish your 24 disc, I don't know for sure about that, you can check it out. Anyways, I think it's because I did it on the first day so they didn't have everything written out properly, so that's why it's a, it was a bit unclear at that time. Anyways, for the second half of the stage, you must pick up 12 broken discs and bring them back to the music box. This can be done in one event map turn. If you finish the above in one turn, then you probably don't have time to do stage 3 of the music part. Thank goodness these are going by much faster. You most likely have to wait for a new event map to start for stage 3. This is similar to stage 1 of music. You have to press the space bar at that music box and it will give you a song lyrics this time with a blank in it. You must fill in the blank and then press the space bar for the next lyrics and do this 10 times. As you know, I'm here to make this easier for you, so all you have to do is copy and paste these 10 words in this order. Reindeer, jolly, sleigh, fun, presents, joy, snow, love, mommy, and last but not least, you have to type in year. So these are the 10 different words that you'll have. As soon as you get the last one, you will get the orb. Congratulations on finishing the second prize. And by the way, you can do these prizes in any order as you wish, as I let you know before as well. And obviously once you're inside the house, of course, so you have to do the part from Falling of the Sleigh first. But anyways, congrats on finishing two out of three of your different prizes. This has been one hell of a doozy. But now comes the third and the last part. To get the Merry Christmas title, of course. The only other reason this video took so long to put out, for this took over two days to figure out. This was one painstaking enigma we all had to put our minds into and try and figure it out, looked way too deeply into it, and adding in math and science and who knows what other theories. But remember, I told you to note down those numbers and like pay attention to them because you were seeing it in like every map. Well, you can check that all away because you actually don't need it now that I'm going to tell you what to do for this title. I must applaud the creativity though and the thought put behind this by Santa and the team, so awesome job. And thank you for helping us out a lot towards like this past day and past couple days. They've been helping us out a lot more, so thank you for that. Anyways, just letting you know, you will not be able to copy exactly what I type because everyone has their own unique one to put in and I will use mine as an example to show you what to do for yours. Those numbers unique to you were supposed to help you figure out that you need to use your account ID to start off this three-part enigma. To get that ID, go to the room slash room below Def Choco ID, and in the chat box, it will tell you your ID. Just look at the screen and copy it down. So copy down your own personal account ID and save it for your Enigma later on. Now, once the event room loads, you need to perform the actions in order of your ID number. Here is a list with the numbers corresponding to the actions to be done. Zero is dance, one is laugh, two is cry, 3 is kiss, 4 is angry, 5 is clap, 6 is sleep, 7 is face paw, 8 is sit, and 9 is confetti. 
Since my ID is 507-19169, I have to do these set of actions for my own account. I'll do clap, dance, face, paw, laugh, confetti, laugh, sleep, and then confetti. This can actually be done anywhere in the house. I did it at the place I was spawned. Like it doesn't have to be at that one place where it's mentioned on wiki. You can do it anywhere in the house. You know you have done it correctly when you get this message in the chat box. For so long, you've given it space. Now it needs you to shift. This means that the places that you have been using the spacebar to pick up stuff, we have to go there and use one of the shift keys instead. The progress has been saved for part one now, and you shall move on to part two now. You must go to the various locations where you went to collect gifts earlier in this event. Apparently, you're supposed to go to all of them, but I didn't know if it was glitched or what, but I got the cipher earlier than that. I would suggest that you just keep spamming the shift key while you go to all those places as well because I even got cipher pieces when I pressed the shift key over the art mouse, aka Melly. You know you're doing it right when you see the cipher pieces on your screen. The progress will be saved once the whole cipher comes together. Then you'll go back to Melly, aka the art mouse, and to that Christmas, that Merry Christmas banner. You go jump up there and you press the shift key, so just spam it basically. You'll get the space, which means that you can move on to the next step. If instead of that, you get three dots in the chat box, that means that you are not done with the prior part, so I'd suggest you go around and spam that shift key some more at all those gift locations and then come back and check to see if you got a different response so you can move forward. Next, you need to collect the icons, which will show up at the top left corner of your screen. You do this by going to the gift locations and pressing the shift key. I just spam the key throughout this Enigma part of the whole event. You do not actually need to go to all the gift locations before you get everything you need. Once again, these icons will be different for every person. There are 10 different possible patterns to this that we've seen so far. Once you have gotten them all, quickly take a screenshot of it and you could work on it while waiting for the next event map. The good thing is that these icons do not change and remain the same for your account every round. So before the next map comes, decipher it using the cipher we found earlier. You do not have to take a picture of that cipher because you can find it on the TFM wiki site, which has actually been, I think Barbasurk has actually been updating it as Santa was talking about it. So yeah, we were all there while it was trying to be figured out. But anyways, you can take a picture from there or you can just take a picture of it from my video. Now to get the message, you must match up the icons with the letters in green under each of those pictures, the green letters. And that is the order that will tell you the message. After I deciphered my own, I found that mine read as Joyeux Noël, which is French for Merry Christmas. So basically, you will be getting the same message as other people, but in one of these 10 different languages. Now that you have the message, on the next event map turn, you go and press the shift on the gift locations to get all the icons again since it did not save, but the pattern will remain the same. Then you'll go to the art mouse, press the shift, I believe, and then go ahead and say this message. If you say the incorrect message, you will be warned, and after three attempts, you will be sent to prison. This just means that you did not decipher the message correctly, so go back and try it again. So after I said my message, I got that face again in the chat, which means that it was correct, and so my progress has been saved, and I can move on to the third and hardest part of this enigma, only because we haven't actually understood how to decipher this code yet properly, but you'll still get your title, I'll let you know how. Alright, so now you jump on the hay to reach the red Merry Christmas banner and press shift. You will be given two sets of three number codes to decipher using that cipher key you were given earlier. This code changes every event map. You are supposed to read the <laughs> for the language you must say Merry Christmas in. Here is a set of 10 languages which were supposedly being used, and here is how you say Merry Christmas in each one of those languages. Once you found that you are supposed to say Merry Christmas two times in those two different languages, the code that was told to you, you should still be next to the art rat, of course, when you're saying this. First, start by pressing the shift key before you say an answer for it. Although I did it without it, so maybe mine was glitched, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry, so 
do press the shift key every time you have to tell any kind of message. You can say your two language versions of Merry Christmas in any order. And after each one, you'll get that same face in the chat, which means that it was correct. If you get threatened by the prison, <laughs> it means that it wasn't the right language as per the code given to you that round. But <laughs> that's still being figured out. Your best bet is to just try to spam all 10 languages of Merry Oh, by the way, scratch all that about the cipher for the final code because the key just came out and this is all you need. Look at the third number in each of your two sets and match it up with one of these and just type out those two things so you'll get it in one shot. You are given two of the 10 random languages every event map. As you can see for me, I was trying to figure out the cipher and at the last second I did a Hail Mary and I just typed in Merry Christmas right before the map was ending and I actually got the title without even saying Merry Christmas in any other language. So I only said it in one language, so mine was glitched along with a few others. But there you have it, Chimney Lua event of 2021. So hope you guys enjoyed. Boy, this was a long one, but I covered everything you could possibly want to know and more. So please drop a like and subscribe if this helps, and comment to show you're here. Bye you guys, I hope this was helpful. Share it with everyone else, and yeah, don't ask me questions if it was already asked if it was answered in this video, because I've answered a lot of stuff in this video. I keep getting asked so many questions on game. I'm, I'm just going to start giving you guys the link of this video and be like, just watch this video. I tell everything. I don't want to repeat myself over again. Anyways, bye guys. Keep yourself. As always, peace.